Good day, RGB. Today on Valley Por Vida, we're talking to one local teen who's got a talent for knitting and crocheting. We're featuring some of her work on the show, plus info on students who are doing great things to represent the 956. That and more, the show starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Now, I'm so excited to introduce you to Andrea Delgado. Uh, she's a real Grand Valley teen who's taking her talents for yarn to a whole new level. See, her grandmother showed her how to knit and crochet when she was younger, and well, now she's sharing her 956-themed creations, plus more, with us all. Go ahead and take a look at this. Hi everyone, my name is Andrea Delgado of Andrea's Yarn and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my business. So the way I got started was I suffer from severe anxiety and I had a very hard time transitioning back into high school my senior year and one of my coping mechanisms was crocheting and it pretty much just blew up from that. I was allowed to crochet while my teachers were lecturing in class and it was a way for me to actually calm down and stay in the moment. I'm a very neutral person, so I like wearing neutral colors, but I really like expressing myself in vibrant colors because I feel like that's the way I think. So, you know, I associate colors with emotions as well. So it's very fun that whenever I'm doing something like flowers, it's something like a happy memory for me. So it's a happy color. So I pretty much was getting my inspiration from the valley, so a lot of people when I was in high school really liked the frogs, I was doing the frogs and then one day I saw a picture of possums and I decided to make like four possums and they sold out in the same day. I enjoy making the cows. I feel like they're very versatile. One, they can be like gifts for anyone because people like cows, especially in the valley. And recently there's been like a huge boom in the gender reveals, so people have been buying cows for gender reveals. Well, I do enjoy the fact that people are happy when they see my creations, but it also, it's like an awesome feeling, especially whenever someone tells me that, oh, I remember my grandma used to do this, because I learned from my grandma, so I understand that moment or those memories they had. Um, so it started with, I would go during the summers, because I, I didn't have school, so I would go spend at my grandma's house, and she would start crocheting blankets. So I would constantly watch her while she was telling me stories. So when she would go take her nap, I would secretly go and try it, hopefully praying I wasn't making a mistake so she wouldn't notice I was working on her blanket. And it pretty much started like that. Yeah, my family members are very supportive. And they're always telling other people about my creations and especially my mom, she's now a substitute. So she's there telling the kids at school and she's also telling my former teachers. So these hats, well it all started with the frog and then I started the bear hat and it was just, a reminder, you know, I could continue doing this while I was in school. Yes, you can just send me a message on Instagram, literally anywhere, I answer within the hour. <laughs> so I post most of my pictures on Instagram at Andrea's Yarn, no spaces or underscores all together. And I also have a TikTok where you can see the behind the scenes when I'm making the items, packaging, and setting up my table. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere because Valley Puerto Vida is going to be right back and we'll have an all new destination education segment for you to check out. That's coming up. <laughs> 